guys today we're gonna talk about something really serious so strap yourselves in because it's about to get super serious Okay, so I'm making this video because of certain events that happened this week. We all know of the sad uh, passing of Sally and before I start the video, I just really want to say my deepest condolences to all her family members, anyone who has loved Sally, FX members, her fans and it's really a difficult period now and that's why I don't think there's a better time for me to stand up and speak my mind about this topic. Also, I've experienced uh, something personally as a result of this and I really would like to speak up about it. I don't want to get into too much detail so you can read up on the comment on my Instagram post and also my full reflections on there as well. So to put it very succinctly, okay, someone perceived me uh, to be a hater of Jenny because of their video and um, they are Sally fans so they wish that haters like me would die in place of Sally and accused me of being a hateful person. Okay, so I want you guys to like sit back and think about how the person communicated this. So, um, I'm a big believer of everyone is entitled to your opinion. However, the delivery of this made me realize that there is this thing called the cycle of hate. Okay, and if you guys want to understand more, well then, let's have a little skit, alright? Because who doesn't love skits? So it all starts with a few online trolls. Um, unfortunately, these people ha are suffering. They're lonely, they're miserable. I'm a sad, lonely individual with lots of pent-up anger and jealousy. Yeah, celebrities hate. Mm, I'm gonna die. Mm. Unfortunately, public figures get harmed as a result. the fans of these public figures then go out as social justice warriors seeking to devour and kill those haters. I'm a self-righteous K-pop fan. All you haters that cause harm to my favorite K-pop idol, die! Hey, hey, hey! Hate on you all, curse you all the way to die! Hey, hey, hey! How dare you do this? How dare you? Direct hateful messages towards these haters. Shooting their arrows everywhere, shooting their hate everywhere to everyone who has an inkling of, you know, directing some kind of opinion towards their idol. And in the process, for example, me, another public, you know, figure, a public opinion leader, I get affected by this hate. And for example, what could happen is I could be depressed. My fans, they would be angry, right? Because why, why did you cause my, you know, my favorite YouTuber to be distressed? And then they go out and they start hating. So do you see like there is a cycle of hate? And it never ends, okay? That's what happens when you use hate to tackle haters. You don't know how ironic and how hypocritical you sound because the haters that you accuse you sound just like them you ask them to go and die and in that act you're acting just like a hater do they not realize this? you are doing the exact thing that you are accusing people of and the exact thing that you are doing is what caused harm to your favorite you know, public uh, opinion influencer in the first place do you understand what I'm saying? Alright, so I just want you guys to know the cycle of hate exists and how can we stop it? I realized that I could make a hateful comment back to this person and I would just be feeding the cycle of hate. I'm gonna be so honest here, it was so, so tempting to do so because you know, <laughs> you know, but, but I realized I couldn't continue the cycle of hate and that brings me to a very important point stop the cycle of hate all right stop using hate to counter hate it doesn't work you're just feeding the hate cycle and you are just being an asshole okay so what we should do is that we have to take the time to calm down and realize that you can't feed the cycle of hate you gotta address it in an objective manner you gotta address it in a calm manner and you gotta show people why they are wrong and instead of sending an army of people to hate back and attack back stop it okay you can respond with love and you don't have to respond with hate 
And that's one of the things that I realized is happening right now. People need to understand that you are entitled to your opinion. And you may communicate your opinion, but you're not entitled to ask people to take their lives, and you're not entitled to insult people's families. That is hate. So yeah, I hope that you guys can reflect upon this. How many times have you been tempted to attack back hatefully? You know, and I think that tendency is in all of us, it's in everyone. But I really want you guys to notice that there is a cycle of hate and that we need to stop feeding into it, okay? Hashtag stop the cycle of hate. So when I read that hateful comment, I was actually at work and I was deeply troubled by it and it hurt more than I thought it would hurt, okay? Um, fortunately for me, that was only the one comment that I received. And sadly, you know, the fraction of pain that I felt, it cannot be compared to so many suffering youths out there who are being cyberbullied, so many celebrities that have taken their lives because of a harsh, harsh comments about them and their families. And you guys need to know that your words, they're like knives. They're like arrows. You guys need to know that your words have so much weight. Do you really want to type it out? Do you really want to shoot that arrow? Do you really want to hurt somebody with your words? That's about it. I know this video is pretty long and I really hope that you guys can share this video uh, with your friends and you know just hashtag stop the cycle of hate. Before you type the hate comment back to people responding with hate, just think about it. Stop the cycle of hate. Don't reply with hate, reply with love, reply with constructive arguments, criticisms, okay? And I would like to thank everyone on YouTube, on Twitter, uh, for sincerely um, giving me the love and support. I'm so blessed to have you guys. I really hope that you guys can self-reflect and I know that my audience, us Hubeis, we're gonna be the kindest, you know, community on YouTube, the Hubei community. Um, if you guys have any p opinions about this video and maybe you found other ways to deal with cyberbullying and if you guys know other ways, feel free to discuss and share in the comments down below and let's just all keep promoting kinder words on the internet and I think, you know, we really can make a change and I'm really hopeful that we can stop depression due to hate comments and ultimately sad events such as the ones that happened this week and also um, yeah, too many celebrities and victims of suicide. If you're going through a very difficult time, I don't even want to say I know how that feels. I only received a fraction of it and I cannot even imagine how painful that is. You have people that love you in any situation, okay? If you don't receive the love, I give you love right here, okay? We love you and reach out to people who love you, okay? Get the love and know that you are worth it, alright? You're worth staying on this earth and you're worth your life. Hope that um, this video helped you out in a way. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back into my normal dance videos, guys. This is just one off, okay? Hashtag stop the cycle of hate. Share with your friends, share with your family, share with your schoolmates. And I do normal K-pop dance videos, um, they are linked somewhere here. Uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Share the love, stop the cycle of hate. And I love you all, who bates. Hey, 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 hey,